Okay, here we're going to talk about Halo Season 2. Now, Halo is a really good sh um Dolby Vision's very good on it. It's a good show. Um, it's on, you do get a first person view once in a while, but they don't do it that much. So, because they don't want to identify the um, Steelbook movie as a, a video game. They don't want it to be exactly like the video game, because then it would be too much. I mean, who would want, you, so, um, let's just say this is a very good show, I guess, but People don't really like it. It's rated a 7.3 out of 10 with 99,000. I think it's pretty good. Not super good. But I think a lot of the show isn't really battles and stuff. It's like, it's a lot of dialogue in it to me. But whatever. Um, it's, um, I think it's been renewed for season three. No, maybe not. Let's see. Season two just came out. And it ended on, um... March 21st to 24th, so maybe this coming year, and started um in February the 24th, so maybe this coming February, so if we don't count November, December, January, yeah, maybe two months, two and a half months from now might resume, I don't know if there's a season three, it doesn't show it on here. Okay, first episode, top rated in the series, a deadly evacuation mission signals a shift in Master Chief's wall at the Covenant. Okay. <laughs> On Reach, a new regime takes the reins at Fleet Calm. John senses a looming threat to home. Season premiere. Um, 7.5 out of 10. Um, three, um, 3.6 thousand ratings. That was okay. And I watched the second episode. Only two of them. Because you got to remember, with, with these kind of shows that come from movie studios. I forgot what studio this was from. Showtime. I already scratched some of the steel book. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's um showtime. One episode is this is what I hate about these kind of shows. Is that one episode's an hour, then the next episode is like forty five minutes. Like can't they be consistent and make everyone exactly an hour so you get as much time out of it? And I remember one time on the a Mandalorian that's separate from this. They had like a, a episode that was under 40 minutes. I'm like, you can't have an episode under 40 minutes and you pay like $50 for a steel book. That's ridiculous. Well, I didn't pay $50 for this one because I got it slightly cheaper on um, Target. Believe it or not, they were cheaper at the time than on um, Amazon. All right, that's it. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. It's not bye-bye. I didn't talk to the next episode, was, which was Sword. February 8th, 2024, the other episode was February. Yeah, they, they, since they released, they released these two episodes on the same date. Hmm, that's usually, I guess that's what they did before. Um, for some reason, they did that with this. I don't, I don't understand that at all. John pushes Silver Team to its limits as he searches for missing spawns. Kai worries about John's stability. Quan finds the rubble is a far more dangerous place in Soren's absence. Halsey seeks the identity of her captor. 7.1 out of 10, 3.2. So for a show like this, its top rated episode um, is a 7.5. So this show is about average. It's it's not super good. I thought it would, would have got a better rating. I, I didn't remember what the rating was, so I looked it up again. I thought I had a better rating than this, but I guess it's only about a 7.5. Um, that's what happens. Good luck with that, everyone. And remember, um, he, uh, if you want to, you can get this in a regular 4K version, but for a little more money, you can get the Steelbook still. It's not a, a very, you know, hot Steelbook to get. You can still get it all over Amazon and everything. Bye-bye.